Apple cider vinegar has many amazing benefits, but there's only a few that will truly change your life today. So that's why in this video, we are going to cover the top benefits that you must know about in order to improve your health. Hi, Wellness Warrior. I'm Dr. Zorowski, and apple cider vinegar has been a big part of my life for a long time. And the reason for that is because, for one, it's easy to implement, it's inexpensive, and it actually has really profound benefits that I get daily, and you can too. So let's go ahead and talk about each one of these benefits one by one and talk about how you can start implementing, implementing them right now. So first on our list is going to be, it will help improve your digestion. Okay, now digestive issues are an enormous concern for so many people. Gas, bloating, distension, burping, uh, pain and discomfort, heartburn, and all the different symptoms of indigestion. Yeah, you may be facing those, and the reality is, is apple cider vinegar is something that can easily support you in improving this greatly. Okay, it did me, and I know that it's helped so many of the people I work with, so it will help you as well. Now, when we look at how this supports this is what is going to really do the apple cider vinegar is going to really neutralize the stomach pH. And by doing so, it's going to help you break down your food properly, help you extract the nutrients out of it, and also really help you with these awful uh, symptoms that you've been facing for a long time. So if you want to improve your digestion, apple cider vinegar is definitely a go-to. But how do you do this? How do you use it? Well, simply taking about one to two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar before a meal is going to greatly improve all these symptoms that you've been facing. Now, with the apple cider vinegar, you wanna use raw, you wanna use it unpasteurized, you also want to dilute it. You don't wanna just drink it straight. It's way too acidic and hard on the stomach to do that. So, you know, lots of ice, lots of water, maybe in a few, even a few liquid stevia drops to sweeten it up a little bit. You know, whatever you prefer, it's all going to be the way that you improve your digestion. So that's not it because Apple cider vinegar goes far beyond just digestive health. Now, we know that if you want to improve your immune system, you have to improve your gut health, okay? Apple cider vinegar also helps you improve your immune system, and it does so because it has antiviral and antibacterial properties to it. And when you start improving your gut health, your immune system will skyrocket. So here's what we want to do. We want to use apple cider vinegar to help get rid of things like E. coli and candida and all the nasty pathogenic bacteria that we don't want in our gut here. And by actually neutralizing the pH within our gut health and keeping it balanced, one of the things that we will do is create a system within our gut that fights off these things constantly because with a healthy pH, these different funguses and bacteria don't survive. So here's what we wanna do. Use apple cider vinegar, one to two tablespoons, one to two times a day, and it's really going to help boost your immune system up. So next on our list, we have to look at how we can use this in order to improve our metabolism, right? We talked about digestion and immune system. What about our metabolism, right? This is something that almost everyone struggles with to some degree every day. How do we lower our blood sugar? How do we lower our insulin levels? Well, apple cider vinegar has been shown to actually block some of these different enzymes that break down starches and sugars within our gut. So therefore, as we use apple cider vinegar with our meals, it will help lower our blood sugar. So a couple ways you can do this. Use one to two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar with your meals. You can use it while you're fasting, right? It's zero calorie. Use it while you're fasting. That's pretty amazing. Or even drink it at night before you go to bed and you can get the benefit of apple cider vinegar lowering your blood sugar all night long. So that's highly beneficial for those reasons as well. So we definitely could use apple cider vinegar if we're going to have a starchy meal, if we're gonna have a sugary meal, or if we just wanna consume apple cider vinegar to help with our digestion and lower our blood sugar every single meal, why not? Now, next on our list is gonna be helping with weight loss, okay? This is something that so many people are trying to get a handle on. Now, if you have belly fat, then there is a good chance that you have a certain level of insulin resistance that may not be to the level of pre-diabetes or type 2 diabetes, but enough there that is forcing your body to start accumulating fat. Now, if we want to lose that weight, of course, we're gonna use apple cider vinegar to control the blood sugar, but also what we're gonna use apple cider vinegar do, to do is to block some of the breakdown of these starchy foods, which we talked about, and also help us eat less. Now, weight loss is something that's on the minds of a lot of people. 
And one of the problems with weight loss is that you find yourself eating too much. And when you overeat, you overconsume, you just can't lose weight. So apple cider vinegar, according to the studies, help people eat less. If you drink apple cider vinegar in the morning, in the afternoon, as a result, or even just before meals, as I mentioned on a regular, as a result, the studies show that you consume less food throughout the day. So that's pretty awesome. And it's a huge win for anybody trying to lose weight. Like I said, easy to implement and great results for what it is, very inexpensive. Now, it will help improve your heart health. Okay, now this is pretty cool because look, heart attacks, strokes, all these different cardiovascular issues are the number one cause of people dying prematurely. And this is not something that you wanna be facing at any age, right? So when you consume apple cider vinegar, studies show that it can support bringing down your bad cholesterol and your triglyceride levels. So that can help balance out the cholesterol and then keep you in a healthy range so that you don't have to worry about, you know, your cardiovascular system failing you when you know, you're just trying to live a good life and have a lot of longevity. So apple cider vinegar supports your cardiovascular system as well. Now, it also will help boost your nutrient intake, okay? Apple cider vinegar is very good for this because what happens is when you're in a position where your stomach acid is off, remember, because this helps improve your digestion, then you are not able to actually break down your food well. And when you don't break down your food well, you don't extract the nutrition from the food you're consuming. I mean, you can eat all the you know leafy greens and cruciferous vegetables and fruits and all those things that you want, but if you can't break it down, then they don't do your body a whole lot of good, right? Apple cider vinegar will help break down these foods better. Now, apple cider vinegar itself, not a whole lot of nutritional benefit to it, right? One of the major benefits to apple cider vinegar is going to be the acetic acid, which has a whole host of benefits, which I've been mentioning. It also has some potassium in it, a little bit of magnesium, but not much that's gonna change your life at all. But as far as nutrient quality goes, it's all about helping you get more nutrients out of the food you're consuming. And that's what apple cider vinegar does, consume it with a meal. Now, next, it can really help improve your skin health, okay? And this is something that many people don't know about apple cider vinegar. The fact is, is that when we have gut problems, that's gonna cause skin problems. If we have bacteria on our skin, it can cause things like acne. If we have rashes showing up, that can be from candida, right? Now, apple cider vinegar can work as an amazing cleanser, so you could use it as part of your face wash routine. It's gonna help tone it. It's going to help get rid of the different fungus and bacteria on your skin, which all helps your skin look better. And of course, when it improves your gut health, it doesn't allow for your gut problems to manifest on your skin in the way of rashes. So apple cider vinegar can help with that as well. So if you are somebody who doesn't really like apple cider vinegar, here's what you need to do. You can make it taste good. Like I said, you take one to two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar, lots of ice, lots of water. I like putting a little bit of cinnamon in there for a little bit of extra blood sugar control and maybe some extra weight loss benefit. Also putting some stevia drops in there is very helpful too. It sweetens it a little bit. And then it's very good at that point. I think it tastes great. Now, if you're still somebody who's like, hey, I don't like it, it's just not my thing, then what you can use is apple cider vinegar, vinegar capsules, okay? Some supplement form apple cider vinegar. Now, the truth is a lot of the gummies out there, actually, I'd say all the gummies out there are total trash and I do not recommend them. I did a whole video on that and I'll put it in the description below, but stay away from the gummies. But in supplement form, there are some good ones. I'm very specific to the ones that I actually support and recommend. I'll put a link in the description to the particular supplements that I would use. But the fact is too, when you look at many of the apple cider vinegar supplements out there, big scams, okay? Gummies and supplements in most cases with the apple cider vinegar are a scam. There's only one I've supported through the past like five years and it's still the one I support today because it actually uses real apple cider vinegar and it puts it in a capsule form. So you're getting the benefit of the unpasteurized raw apple cider vinegar with the mother. So you can also use the capsules if you're somebody who just does not like using the liquid. And I understand that. I'm personally more the liquid type of person. However, a lot of people say not for me and I'm doing the supplements. So check those out if that's something that you're interested in. If you like this video, I think you'll really like this video right here.